on today's episode on World Drive M we are going to start tearing apart the engine on the BMW 7 series. We are going to start by fixing the Peugeot in this episode. I have to uh, receive, I have to pick up the uh, water hose and the uh, headlight trim and we are good to go and after that we can drive the, this car again. I've just picked up, picked up the water hose for the Peugeot. I hope it's going to fit because it looks like it's a little bit small. I'm not really sure. Maybe the other one was too big because it exploded. Let's hope it's going to fit and now let's drive home and fix the Peugeot. And just like that we have a new hose in here. I've put the mesh, the old mesh um, on the new hose. It goes from the radiators to the thermostat. We have more than enough water. But I just have to bleed the system and uh, I've installed the new piece, the trim piece that I have in here. Uh, it doesn't fit really well, but who cares? The most important part is that it's in there and doesn't look like uh, before with a hole under the headlight. So that's done. I have some, um, some stuff under the car because it was dripping water and stuff like that. I have to take that to move this car and we have to drive the car a little bit in order to check if the thermostat works if the system is bleed or stuff like that and in here on this one on the 4 series we have the winter wheels installed because i've drove this car a few days till i received all the parts for the other one and now we are going to park this one here in the back and we are going to drive that uh, as usual every day and now let's go in the garage to take out the engine from the 7 I think I've done some room in the front of the car. I put a lot of parts in here, the tools and everything in here. We have plenty of room in here. I'm going to park the Peugeot uh, backwards in here. I'm going to take the crane out because I have the engine crane in the Peugeot. And after that we are going to try to pull the engine out. I just have to take this cooler because it's going to come with the engine this one should come with the engine i'm going to put it somewhere in here i'm going to zip tie this somewhere in there and this line should remain in here because i took the lines out of the uh, this pump i'm not really sure the name now um, and i think other than that i took everything out i took the ground wire out i I took the positive wire out, the engine cables are out completely, I just have to um, zip tie this as well somewhere in here and uh, I took all the bolts between the gearbox and the engine but I couldn't reach with the hand in order to take this cable out and uh, I, I'm going to see if it's going to come with the engine or when I have more room I'm going to take it out because the bolts are out I just have to snap it out and um, maybe I will um, take the hood out as well anyway let's take these doors out open the other doors and park the Peugeot in here to take the crane to install the crane in here I've parked the Peugeot in here this is the engine crate that I have to take out in order to take the engine out. It's uh, I have to take all these wires in order to take it out, but I'm not really sure if I have, I have enough sp space in here. I, maybe I have to move the car just a little bit. And I think everything is prepared and set up. We took the hood out, we've uh, uh, zip tied the, all the wiring harness in there. And... Uh, those lines should remain with the chassis and I think we are ready. We have a setup for uh, one ton, I think. Yeah, one and a half ton. Uh, it's more than enough because uh, usually this one weights, I think, 300 kilos or, or stuff like that. Anyway, we are going to start taking the engine out.
lights out. Oh my god, we have a storm again. Um, but I'm going to update you uh, tomorrow in the morning because we will have more light and we are going to start tearing apart this engine and we are going to prepare everything for the new engine to go back in. I've supported the gearbox just a little bit, but I'm going to do more uh, tomorrow. It's finally out. It took a while. Um, it was a little bit complicated because I, uh, in the process, I removed uh, this cat in order to completely take it out because this one was stuck in there. Maybe you can see I ripped a little bit the heat uh, shield. And after I removed this cat, I was able to take the engine completely out. I put something on the gearbox just to sit on something, not on the drive shaft on the, or on the mount. Um, other than that, I I think I've done a pretty good job because I didn't broke any line, anything. In here, the engine is um, complete. I what I've noticed is that the lines for the gearbox, uh, the the holders, the plastic holders are broken. So I have to order this one new, and I have to take everything out from this old engine in order to, put, to swap on the new one when I will receive the new one. And I, I'm not really sure if I want to take the engine apart now because I might sell it as is and somebody wants to rebuild this, maybe, I'm not really sure, but if I'm going to tear it apart, I cannot sell it and uh, I will lose, I'm not really sure how much money, but uh, I'm going to sell it as is. And in the next episode, we are going to start tearing everything apart from, uh, apart from this uh, engine. Um, in order to prepare everything for the new one. We are going to clean first everything in here. We are going to check the engine mount, mount if everything is okay. And uh, yeah, I think we just have to wait for the new engine. As you saw me, I put a few things back and you will see maybe in the next episodes why. And uh, the main reason is because I have to move the car in the front yard because I have to work on something else. And this will be a longer project, of course. Um, I put all the bolts um, where it belongs. Uh, I had to repair something in here, but like I said, you will see everything in the next ep in the few next episodes. And uh, now I have to move the car, of course, and uh, the car doesn't have uh, any current and we, we cannot put the gearbox into neutral, but I'm going to show you um, how to put the gearbox in neutral without having current or stuff like that. And if you want to see how to put the gearbox in neutral on the BMW 7 Series, uh, this model E65, E66, uh, you can watch the video in here. And I think now I just have to work a little bit off camera in order to move everything from the front of the car, put the hood back and we are going to push the car on the other side like I've said. I'm going to throw a few other parts in the trunk. I'm going to check if we have all the nuts and bolts put back together and uh, we are going to move the car on the other side till we receive all the parts. I have to source a new engine, I have to source both cats because the the old ones are empty now and after that of course we need a lot of uh, new gaskets and uh, plastic uh, covers and stuff like that and we ha when we have all the parts we are going to start to rebuild this one maybe in this process i'm going to remove the gearbox as well because it will be way easier to put the engine with the cats on and after that the gearbox but uh, I'm going to think about this and uh, maybe in the first episode when you are going to start the rebuild, I'm going to remove that, like I've said. And with all of that being said and done, I think we are at the end of the video. Join me for the next episode in order to see more progress on this one. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.